everybody, it's April Muir with Cold Stream Outdoor and I am here on a beautiful afternoon in San Diego and it's emergency preparedness month. So who's excited about that? Everybody. Actually, nobody. Emergency preparedness is daunting. I really, it's just overwhelming to me. There are so many things to prepare for. And you want, want you ask yourself, have I done the right things? Have I listened to the right people? Am I really prepared? And it's just overwhelming. So today I'm gonna to share with you my number one tip that is gonna make your emergency preparedness planning and plan so much more effective and you're gonna feel so good about it. So I am going to share with you what you need to worry about the most is access to water. Our bodies are actually 60% water. And if infants, it's more like 78%. So water is crucial when it comes to being prepared. And sometimes that's the last thing people think about. They have all their food storage and their first aid kits and whatnot. But water is the most important element that you can have. And I'm gonna share with you today something awesome that you're gonna love. So I am gonna tell you a little bit of a story, and yes, I am checking my notes here because going live on Facebook is more than daunting to me. But um, I wanna tell you a little story about um, something that happened a couple years ago. We were at work, just working away, and all of a sudden the power went out. Nothing major, it's just, you know, everything went out, the lights went out, computers lost all your data, you know, all that that you hadn't saved. And so what do you do? Well, you sit there for a few minutes and you know that it's gonna come right back on, so it's really no big deal. So after a few minutes, we noticed that in our business park, the traffic was backing up and there was a major, I mean, it's a small business park in San Diego, California, and all of a sudden there's all this traffic, the traffic lights were out. You know, it was, it was getting kind of ugly out there. So we waited a few more minutes and then we kind of gave up and went home. And I thought, you know, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get some gas. Now, how naive is that? I noticed when I got to the gas station, I thought there would be lines, you know, because people were getting ready for this emergency and there was one other lady there. And do you know why? It's because gas pumps are electric. And there, everybody else apparently knew that. I did not know that. Not to mention that your, your um, card sliders, that's not gonna work either. And if you go inside to pay the guy for the gas, his cash register doesn't work either. So I felt a little naive and I left. And um, on my way home, I'm thinking, you know, well, I can't do anything, I can't work. I'm not gonna watch TV, can't bake anything, what should I do? So I decided I would wash my car. Now, another, that's another bad decision. And do you know why? You probably do, well, I didn't. Um, when your community gas tank empties out, how does it get refilled? it has a, an electric pump that fills it back up. So if I had been, you know, going out and watering my plants and washing my car and all that stuff, no, that is not a good thing to do. So what I wanna tell you today is, um, you know, I was embarrassed. I left the gas station, you know, with my tail between my legs and I went home and, you know, blew it there. And so I wanna tell you about something, you know, we lived through it. That, that part of it was over. We lived through it, it wasn't a big deal, but what I'm trying to convey is that there are so many other catas catastrophic things that can happen to us in this day and age that can happen to me, that can happen to you, that might be gonna happen to your family, your parents, your children, your grandchildren, we just don't know. So that's why today I wanna to share with you this awesome thing and I'm gonna move the camera a little bit and I'm gonna show you my number one go-to awesome thing is my Aqua Brick water filtration system. And I love this thing, I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna show you a little bit, where is it? Here it is, kind of a plain looking little deal here. But I am going to filter water today and drink it from this pond. Now I'm here at a lovely apartment complex in um, North County, San Diego, and my son and daughter-in-law live here with their two children. 
And so they have two great water sources where they can use the aqua brick. They have a swimming pool. Now the aqua brick takes out chlorine, copper, all those things out of cool water and gives you gallons and gallons of safe drinking water. Duh, it's a no brainer. Get an aqua brick. If you have a community pool or you know a pool in your backyard access to pool water, get an aqua brick. My gosh, you will have, you know, tons of water. Now you may have water storage in your garage and that's great. Water storage is awesome. If it's correctly uh, prepared and cared for, water storage is great. But what if you have to evacuate? What if you have to leave? Then you have nothing, you have nothing. So that's why the aqua brick, I mean, it's, it's two containers and it's a filter and it is the most awesome thing. So I'm going to show you today, I'm not going to drink the pool water that they have here. I'm going to drink the pond water. And um, I, am, I have no hesitation in doing so because I'm very aware of the effectiveness of the aqua brick. We have tested it and it is, it is awesome. So let me show you what I'm going to do here. Make sure I get the camera angle. Now this water is kind of cruddy and kind of turbid. So, and by turbid, I just mean there's a lot of gunk in it and whatnot. So let me see if I can get that. So this is the aqua brick right here that I'm gonna be using. And this is the Duraflow filter that is so awesome and filters out all the gunk. But so the aqua brick filter, you know, I want it to last as long as it possibly can. So I'm gonna pre-filter the water. And all that means is that I'm gonna take a pitcher full of this yucky, scummy, there's a lot of junk in there. And I am going to put it through this, it's cheesecloth, or I think it's an old rag that I got at work. And all that's going to do is remove all the gunk so that your filter doesn't have to worry about the little extra slimy things that might be floating around in there. You know, and it's just going to preserve the life of your filter. And there's the koi fish, they think I want to feed them. Um, no buddy, I just want to share your water. So I'm going to do that and I'll put a little bit more in, see how gross that is. Ugh. But let me tell you what the aqua brick does, it removes bacteria, virus, giardia, cryptosporidium, fluoride, chlorine, all that protozoan and tons of other toxins and garbage that you do not want to be drinking. So, and it also filters pretty fast. It filters between 25 and 30 gallons in an hour. Now this container here holds three gallons and your aqua brick filta filtration system comes with two containers and the filtration system. And you can use these containers for so many things. You can use them for food storage, water storage. You can put documents in them and keep them safe and protected. So they are just fantastic for so many things. We've had a 250 pound man stand on one of these and it didn't even phase it. No denting at all. So I think that's probably enough scummy dirty water. And what I'm gonna do here is let it filter through. See all the garbage that was in there. And I'm going to put the filter and put the cap on and you want to get it on kind of tight so that you're what we're going to do here is we're going to fill it with air and your kids will love doing this so i'm filling it with air so that it will be pressurized and then we will use the spigot to dispense the water that I'm gonna drink. Yum, I'm excited. So I don't really know since it's not full. I wanna make sure it's got a tight. Let's see. Yep, it's coming out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my water bottle and I'm gonna take the good water that I got at home from my aqua brick earlier today and dump it out. That was the good water. And so now I'm gonna drink this. And 
it's really not even coming out that fast because I really haven't pumped it up. But if you can see it, it's awesome. It is actually crystal clear. And if I would have thought about it, I would have brought a clear container. But if you can see that, it is crystal clear water coming through there. No gunk. It smells, it smells great. It smells like fresh water. So here we go. I'm gonna keep this in view all the time. It's great. It tastes fantastic. So, that is an awesome thing to have. Um, let me see what else I have in my notes. Oh, one, one more thing I wanna to talk to you about before you go, and this is kind of important. Um, the Aquabrick water filtration system has been tested to its end of life. And that just means that it was tested over and over again. The water was contaminated and the filter, the same filter was used and it was tested for 25 gallons and then recontaminated the water and tested for 25 more gallons until it quit working. And that is end of life testing. Now, does anybody else do that? Um, and I'm gonna go really fast through this. The EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, has rules and they have guidelines about what kind of results you should be getting from a water filter like this, personal water filtration, which is on the market all over the place. Only, what's the problem? They don't have anyone, they don't have enough money and enough manpower to enforce those rules. So basically, water filtration companies can claim that they have a water filter that takes out, that cleans a hundred thousand gallons. Hmm. So what would they have to do to be sure that it actually cleaned and made safe drinking water out of a hundred thousand gallons? They'd have to test a hundred thousand gallons, but they don't have to because there is no one enforcing it and no one to check, check up on them. So it puts the consumer in kind of a catch-22. So the Aquabrick water filtration system started the new standard of end-of-life testing. And so you can feel confident using any of the Sagan products. Um, the Aquabrick is, is a super, super product. And so I've put in a link below. I'm hoping it's there because I'm new at this live Facebook thing. And you can click on it and learn more about exactly how it works. And it's on sale right now. We have got a screaming deal for you and some freebies. Um, I want to share this with you.